Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and this is Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Clean Intermittent Fasting and OMAD. How are you all doing today? This is, I think, Log Cabin. I think um, it's a it's a uh, roast roasting company that's close to us here on Cape Cod. I think it's based in Massachusetts. Anyway, it's some organic, very strong beans that I grind here at home and have it hot and black frequently. <laughs> and um, it took a long time to get to black. So don't kid yourself into thinking it's like that. It's It's kind of, well, I'll put it up there with quitting smoking. It's something that you have to work on every day. And, and sometimes you just get pulled. And I know that when I'm watching somebody do on, on YouTube shorts, like how they make that heart thing with on lattes with the pretty little thing and isn't it lovely and all that, it does pull me, but not to the point that I'm ready to give up black coffee and go down that, that lane. It took so long, you know, to get, to get used to the just black please and no regrets. And even though I'm pulled, it's, it's not going to work. It ain't going to work. So quit showing me those things. Oh, oh, I'm watching them. Oh, I'm choosing. Oh, anyway, somebody here, a beloved, a beloved person, a former client of mine, a frequent viewer and commenter. She said, she said, why don't you do a video of why you've changed up what you're eating? And I, I said, well, yeah, I can do that. I used to be um, keto, I used to be carnivore, I used to be ketovore, and then all of a sudden, for those of you coming back to see me for the first time in a long time, and welcome back, um, you know, now I'm doing this clean intermittent fasting with OMAD, and I'm having things like more of a whole foods diet, and enjoying it, and maintaining my weight loss, what happened? How did you go from that to that and you're still in maintenance and it's still working? <clears throat> well, I admit it was something like I was testing the water. I put my little toe in and I tried something that had more carbs. I tried a grain. I tried a fruit. I tried a granola. And all of a sudden, I found that these things, not only did they work and keep me in maintenance, but they kept me just smooth, very content, very at peace. And maybe some of you can identify with this. I, felt a, I feel a little bit more normal having the whole foods plan. And it's nobody else's business what I eat and what works for me. But there was always that I had to belong to a club, you know, like the keto club, like the carnivore club. I couldn't just do what works for me and be happy and have a treat every now and then and having it work okay. And so suddenly my, my club, if you have to have one, is clean intermittent fasting and one meal a day. And when it gets to that one meal a day that I still eat at two o'clock in the afternoon, it's a feast. And I eat till I feel that full button, that content place. Um, <laughs> you know, for somebody in a, in, a, in a movie that's like, would make teenagers laugh, I, I'm at that place where I can like lean back and burp. <laughs> I'm not doing that. But you know, that place of satiation, the head satiation, and so I've been delighted with how I've been doing this. And yes, it does feel like I'm getting away with something after so many years of deprivation, of so many years of like, you know, nope, can't have that, and starting to allow it. It's kind of like the camel's head. First, you know, their nose gets in the tent, then, you know, their fate, their, their mouth and their teeth get in the tent, then suddenly their eyes are in the tent, and suddenly their head's in the tent and suddenly the whole camel's in the tent. I guess that's how it must, must have been. You know, I began to listen to people that do clean intermittent fasting versus keto. And I just became inspired and confident 
And as I said, testing the waters with little small doses, as it were, of a more whole foods program than the keto program. And little by slowly, I've found that it works for me. And the most important part of my program, as it were, clean intermittent fasting and my OMAD, is what I don't put in my clean intermittent fasting. I mean, it's amazing how simple this is and how complicated we can make it. Us, us career food watchers, dieters, you know, planners, preppers, whatever you want to call what your journey was, it was always about other things. And so keeping it clean in the clean intermittent fasting portion of my day, and part of that is spent sleeping, so that takes care of that, is what ends up being the most important thing. Absolutely nothing in the clean intermittent fasting portion of my day except black unflavored coffee. No coconut flavored coffee, no French vanilla, no hazelnut, nothing like that. It's a strong, usually dark roast, French roast um, family of a dark bean that I grind here at home in my XO grinder that is the most messiest thing in the world, but it's totally worth it. And having just the black coffee throughout my clean intermittent fast, along with just plain water. No flavoring, no Mia drops, no flavored Poland Springs, no nothing, honey. Plain, plain water, plain mineral water, even though they have real fancy and pretty names. And how could a silly little thing like mango passion hurt me? Well, it can. It can set off the brain, the cephalic response, if I'm correct, in telling your brain that food is coming. And there goes the insulin drop, and there goes the blood sugar hike. And even though you've had a zero calorie item, it's done some metabolic changes inside your body that says, oh, the fast is over. Oh, she's quitting early today. Oh, girly, bring it on. <laughs> How simple. How simple can I make it for you? Clean intermittent fasting is black unflavored coffee. Have it as much as you want. Bitter is not going to set any, any mechanism off in your, in your head. And um, greater, more scientific minds have said that. I'm just dumbing it down, simmering it on the stove, and giving it to you. Bitter black coffee is not going to change what your day is like except to make you a success. And any flavored soda waters or mineral waters or Mio drops in any kind of water or your coffee or your tea is going to upset that nice, clean, fat-burning fast. And isn't that why a lot of us do this for the fat burning, to maintain your weight, to get to your goal weight? Yes, of course. And so what happened to me um, in answering this woman's request was that I missed fruit and I missed, I missed veggies. And, you know, I would have a Yukon potato and make like it was the biggest deal in the world. It was. If you were a keto person, it would. And, and if you allowed yourself like, you know, a 25 carb potato, <laughs> you know, you need a, you need a, <laughs> you need a, a miner's light to find it on your plate. And so I just began to have that clean intermittent fast, like a 22 to 24 hour deal, and then have my OMAD. And in that OMAD, I would put a sweet potato, not a whole one, a half half of a Yukon potato. Usually I make a potato and I split it with Greg. I would have a tad more veggie. I would have, um, I'll, rice isn't like a puller for me, but you know, I've had it. Um, I would put a fruit. I began with probably berries. Um, it was a while back, so, but I don't buy berries anymore because they're wickedly expensive. And I do buy organic strawberries, they last a little bit longer in this household. But um, today, my current fruit um, 
choices and I have a like a fruit cup after my meal, after my like entree, I'll have um, green grapes, red grapes, six slices of banana, <laughs> sometimes chopped apple. I will put a dollop of good culture cottage cheese. It's a it's an organic cottage cheese that is just, it tastes like cottage cheese to me. I just bought a double cream one. If you're familiar with good culture, it's the green one. And um, a half a cup is 130 calories. It's loaded with the good fats that we're supposed to have. And I will have a dollop of that with those um, fruits. And then sometimes I will have um, some Michelle's granola, which has canola oil in it. I did look it up. Oh, well. Um, but I will have a, a smidgen of that, and then I will have a tablespoon of organic raisins on top of that. And it's part of my feast, my OMAD, and that works. Sometimes I will have a slice of bread with things on it. Um, I haven't, I've never had an avocado toast, but I have had, um, Kerrygold butter on it. I have had, um, Smucker's organic peanut butter on it. I have had whipped uh, honey cream on it and I have had maple cream on it. And um, as my form of sweeteners, the maple cream, honey cream, and the fruit satisfy the sweet, the sweet that never goes away. So I, I let the sweet craving out of the cage per se to have it in the form of fruit or maple syrup, honey, or um, yeah, maple syrup or honey or maple cream. And it's in such a small amount, but it satisfies. And if my head is satisfied with a fruit or a half of a sweet potato or a slice of bread, then it's going to be happy, it's going to be purring, and it's not going to get me into the trouble of the usual suspects, suspects when we think of naughty things, the ice creams, the cakes, the cookies, the candy, especially now with Halloween and any leftover candy that you may have. And so <clears throat> it's just something that works for me. And I come here to talk about it. I have one meal. So in that, in that decision to have my OMAD will be an entree. It's not a huge entree. It's a small portioned entree followed by um, the fruit cup or followed by a dish of cottage cheese or followed by a slice of bread. I always, <clears throat> at least now, have been ending my OMAD feast with an orange, a nice navel orange. It's simple. It's what works for me. I love it. I don't plan on changing it. It's keeping me in maintenance. So my, my head is happy. My gut is happy. I'm not constipated anymore. I'm just happy. I begin my day while I'm brewing my Just Black Please coffee. I'm having a um, triple filtered water with one packet of Element and I buy the raw unflavored. I'm not pulled in by any of the fancy schmancy um, Element, LMNT salts that come flavored. It, there's no pull for me whatsoever. I am used to raw unflavored element. I am used to bitter, strong black coffee. I am used to a sweet, as it were, coming in the form of, of nature with maple cream, honey, or a fruit, or even the sweet potato. And it just continues to make me satisfied and content and not craving and not thinking and not just, you know, building up to a binge. I mean, that's what, you know, that's what used to be for me. Not so much the binge in the sense of the diagnosed over binge eater, but the overeating and the not being satisfied at the end of the meal. And then that pint looks pretty damn good in the freezer. And yeah, I'm guilty of that. So by having this fruit, that slice of bread, that additional carb that I wasn't allowing myself on the keto food plan, it just all works for me. The important part, the magic part, the miracle part, the simplistic part is the clean intermittent fasting, black coffee, 
mineral water and then what I want to have put into the OMAD. When I'm done, I'm done. It's still a case of, you done, girly. I do my automatic um, into the bathroom for my oral hygiene. I floss, I brush, I know I'm done. My brain knows I'm done. I begin to shut down into the next part of the, you know, relaxation and rest of the evening, which for me is Greg and me watching, you know, um, saved shows or movies or something like that. It's a pretty simple old lady lifestyle that I lead. I'm very active when I wake up. I'm working again as an in-store shopper in addition to doing my Instacart, my gig work. And I love to be active till noon. I love to be active. You know, give me the job in the store, cashiering, drive, drive up and go shopping for people, whatever, Instacart, point, you know, delivering groceries, busy from 6 a.m. to noon. <clears throat> and then settling in to that nice afternoon, <coughs> excuse me, nice afternoon of having my OMAD that I've planned because you know, I've planned, and then <clears throat> relaxing, and I go to bed at six. I know, I, like I said, it's an old lady lifestyle, and it works for me, and Greg is very accommodating and adapting to it, and we just go on from there, and I, I wouldn't want to change any other thing. I'm 72, and I'm just so, so grateful for my eating plan, for my energy level, the fact that I sleep well, the fact that I don't have bathroom issues, it's its just, you know, it's really how simple can your life get at 72. I've made it as simple as I possibly can because my brain is complicated and I, I just love keeping it simple. So there's nothing but black coffee, mineral water, and water with the element little packet of salt unflavored from the time I wake up until it's time for me to feast. And that's it. It is so simple. You do not have to complicate it. There's no squirts of lemon. There's no Mio drops. There's no stevia flavored anything. It is black, 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 unflavored, strong, dark coffee and mineral water, unflavored, one packet of element um, salts, unflavored. And that's it. It's, it's just so simple. But I see in comments and I watch other people that do OMAD and get questions, they'll do a live stream, and the people are still asking, will lemon hurt? Yes, lemon will hurt. And so it's like, how simple can we make it? But how complicated do we want to make it? And we don't want to make it complicated. So if you're, if you're listening to this and you're going, wow, I've been keto, and I really would love to have just one slice of multigrain bread with peanut butter, it's all I want, make it your dessert. Put it into your OMAD. See how it goes. See how you feel. If it sets up a craving, you're still in trouble and you're, you know, you're not ready for that yet or you will never be ready for it if it's a trigger food. If you can handle it and it makes you purr like a little kitten, well then good. Keep it going. But you have to monitor yourself. You're, it really ends up being, you know, a program of one just for you. N equals one. <clears throat> and you have to discover what doesn't work and what does work. Bread isn't a trigger for me, so I have to have six slices after I have one. I become satisfied. It stays like that, and it works. So I hope on your journey that you will find something that works for you that will satisfy the boring foods, you know, and, and give you that little added no more deprivation. It's... You know, at my age, I don't want to deprive myself. I don't want to have it written on my tombstone. And she remained 100% keto because she was supposed to. No, I don't want to be like that anymore. I want to enjoy food. And that's how I roll. And it works for me. And I hope that you find something that works for you. Please comment below what you do for your journey and if you're content. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you, Belinda, for asking for me to do this. I thought it was a pretty good topic. What made me do this? Hmm. I'll see you here the next time. This has been Sarah. Pearls of wisdom and food with intermittent fasting. Clean intermittent fasting and OMAD. Bye-bye for now.